In this tutorial, I'd like to show you Funtextic from SugarFX. Funtextic is an awesome tool to create 3D text animations quickly and easily, giving you complete control of the animation with a friendly and intuitive interface. Funtextic was designed exclusively for Final Cut Pro 10. You can find it in the Titles browser under the Funtextic Sugar Effects category or in the Themes browser under the 3D Text category. Let's take a look at some of the presets. When you drag Funtextic to your timeline, you'll first notice that the on-screen interface provides drop-down menus with pre-established settings for each attribute to get your animation up and going quickly. If you simply choose a preset from the start, screen position, and end menus, you can create a great-looking animation in just a few seconds with very little effort. You can further use the FX drop-down to add even more animation effects to the text elements while they are in the screen position. The important aspect of Funtextic is that the start, the end, and screen position settings are independent of each other. Therefore, any changes made to one will not ripple down and affect the rest of the animation. Enabling the OSC Guides button in the parameters reveals the Funtextic timeline on top of the screen to help you in the modification process or in the preparation of custom presets. Funtextic is animated inside a 3D environment, so you'll be able to see the axis in three different colors. The red axis is the X coordinate, the blue axis is the Y coordinate, and the green axis is the Z coordinate. This one goes towards the camera and away from the camera. The on screen timeline located on top of the viewer window shows three distinct colors. The yellow dot corresponds to the start key point of the animation. The red dot at the end corresponds to the end key point of the animation. And the blue dots connected by a blue line correspond to the screen position. These key points in the timeline are linked to the parameters, which are also color coded. This means that whenever you need to tweak the start, screen position, or end, you need to move the timeline marker to one of these key positions and use the corresponding items to adjust the position and orientation of the 3D text. Over in the parameters, you may click the Help button at any time to access the help document for this effect. The Camera Lens slider provides an easy way to select the lens aperture of the scene. The Character Animation section allows you to select the combination of elements that will be affected during the animation and how they will appear. Under the 3D Text settings, there's a set of parameters to modify the options of the 3D Text object including a reflection parameter to change the orientation of the reflective environment without digging into the more complex set of parameters in the Final Cut Pro text editor. The FX screen position section provides additional parameters to add interesting animation effects to the text elements while they're in the screen position or blue area of the on-screen timeline. The parameters in the Advanced Effects Camera section refer to the manipulation of the 3D environment and the movement of the camera in and around the 3D space. Experiment first to understand how you use these camera effects to your advantage, or you can also try the cam presets available in the menu. Lastly, the Background Blur parameter simply allows you to add a defocus or blur effect to your background image or footage easily using the sliders. As you can see, Funtextic from SugarFX offers a quick and easy way to make great looking 3D text animations effortlessly, while also offering complete control over each element to create your own custom animation. FX Factory offers a huge selection of great effects, and if you don't have them yet, I suggest you go try them out at fxfactory.com.